Hi there, this is Maria Polito, and I'm a little bit hoarse, I apologize. I'm also recording in the garage to get away from husbands and cats and not disturb anybody since it's around one in the morning. Um, my purpose in making this screencast video is to um, provide a short tour of my getting started links that are typical for my courses. So. I do put getting started in the course menu, so it's fairly um, visible to them. I start with a little introduction, which talks about the focus of the class and um, the prerequisites and lists everything that's in the getting started folder here so that um, students know what's coming. And I put a sample of um, one of these items in the reflection for this assignment. Next is the welcome videos. And there's one for me. Um, it's a Powtoons video with an embedded video of me, the actual person talking, so they can see what I look like in case they come to my office or pass me in the hall. And, um, and then I uploaded it to YouTube. Here's the transcript of that video and my current Vita. There's my avatar right here. I make that on Voki, and um, she speaks in my voice, and her mouth moves, and she blinks her eyes, as you can see. And I put a Voki um, <clears throat> of that character at the beginning of each weekly learning module to kind of summarize what um, we're going to do and focus on during the week. So there's the transcript for that video. And then the next item is an introduction to Blackboard. It's made with Screencast-O-Matic, just like um, this video. And that's uploaded to YouTube, and it basically goes through the links and tells them what's on the links, tells them how to submit assignments, check grades, different, very brief introduction. Here's the transcript for that video. There's a menu of Blackboard as I set it up. It tells which links are in which of the, each of the three sections and what students can expect to find on each link. Then the next thing in this item, in this folder, is I believe their textbook information. For this class, they purchased the textbook individually. This information is embedded and it's also attached. I do a little research and I go and find what the price ranges are to buy, to buy used, to buy new, to rent, to get an ebook, to buy it at the bookstore. Um, so I save them, try to save them some of the research um, on that. Um, next is the technology checkup folder. In this folder, um, there's information how to download Office 365, contact IT services download load Google Chrome, which is what I use for uh, my courses because it works best with Blackboard um, as I have it set up, and to download Adobe Reader if they don't have it. Here's the syllabus, which I also post on a separate menu, uh, menu item on Blackboard, and it's attached and embedded. It includes internal links. So once they give it a read through, they can just click on the link and go to whatever informational item they're looking for. This is the new to online learning assessment. It comes out of Minnesota State CareerWise. It's not for some reason been loading tonight. I don't know if they're doing work on their site or we are um, slowed down, but normally the assessment appears right here. They answer questions, they get detailed feedback about um, their suitability for online courses and recommendations, how they can improve their chances of success. And then they submit a screenshot or image to me. Here's information how to submit a screenshot. Here's a little Blackboard video about how to submit assignments since this is the first assignment they're gonna be submitting. Here's an assignment link with a little camera where they submit the image or screenshot. And this normally appears, it's an embedded optional reading from the same site. Oh, there it is. Okay, so um, they can read this for information to be a successful learner. And here's what the quiz looks like. 
and once they finish the quiz and submit, they get feedback. So, um, and then the next item in the folder is a Padlet. Um, they introduce themselves on this Padlet. They can click here to link to it, or they can type their introductions right from within Blackboard. I try to do that as much as possible so they're not going off to other links and things like that. And they were to put up their names and any other information they wanted and um, their best options for relieving stress. And um, you can see there's pictures up here, somebody in the mountains and puppies, more mountains, kitties. Uh, looks like, um, oh, somebody on the swings, it looks like, with their dogs. I think there's a wedding down here. There's a wedding. I sometimes see graduations. Um, somebody in Paris over here. This is my introduction, which I put on first so that the first person that um, pops on here doesn't get just a blank bulletin board. And so there's my little kitty lyric. And then the next thing is information on office hours. When are they scheduled? How do I use a little film on how to use Blackboard Ultra? and a link to the scheduled um, Blackboard Ultra um, sessions. And then finally, a, a course link that takes them to the learning modules because the next thing they do after getting started is to start working through um, the information in the learning modules week by week. Thank you very much for your time and um, I hope you um, will are well and um, I will end here.